Hey, uh, Andrew. Yep, Lieutenant Heaton here. Hey, it's Nick. Hey, Nick. Uh, hey, buddy. Uh, couple things. First of all, you remember how the other day when we were talking and you were kind of... You were kind of talking about the food in the replicator, and you were saying uh, it didn't quite taste like home. You remember that? Uh, I mean, I, I yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I bring that up all the time. That humidity. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, ah, God, um, the engineers kind of overheard. I guess. Oh no, were they offended? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so Amanda was kind of. Ugh. She told me to tell you because she didn't even want to tell you. She was like, you tell him that, you know, how that sort of thing is. Yeah. She said, you tell Lieutenant. <sighs> Sorry. She said, you tell Lieutenant Fuckwad. That's what she, that's what she said. That's a, that's just a thing. Ow. Sorry. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, re- this isn't for me. Obviously, I love you. Right. But this is coming just from where, where Amanda was at. Uh, okay. She said, yeah. you tell Lieutenant Fuckwad. That if that, ugh, God, gangly, half big bird looking motherfucker ever says a word about my replicator, whatever again, I, ugh, okay, she said I will grab him by the tongue, rip it out of his face, and use it as a clip-on bow tie. Jesus. Um, okay, so there's. We, we, so at first, when you brought this up, I felt horrible. Yeah. Because I was like, you know, like you, you know how it is. You're, you're, you're in the cafeteria. You're just kind of venting. Sure. And it does. Like it's, it's good. It's not bad. It's just, you know, like whenever we have shore leave, we want to go get real food. You don't want to have replicated food because it does have a slight, like I don't know what to describe it. It's just got a certain uh, kind of blandness to it. You know. Yeah, you know what? I feel like maybe you shouldn't mention it anymore. Right. Well, you know what? I sh- what I should have said is, you know, you've got limited material you're working with, and the 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 replicated food on our ship, I think, is about as good as you can get within a replicator, like within the dimensions that they're operating with. Outstanding food. It's just that the best replicated food's never going to taste like homegrown tomatoes. You can't pull that up. So that, and I felt really bad when you brought this up, but then you. You reported to me what Amanda said, and that just uh-huh. it. Like I, I felt bad because I thought I really hurt their feelings, but now I feel like she's more than capable of holding her own, and frankly, went a little overboard. In my, I mean, that is that, like like in, in terms of just proportional response, that is a a really intense response. Like that's well, I, I mean, it had to do with how, with what you were saying about the corned beef hash, but then I think it also had to. Do- it's not okay. For fuck's sake, you could just get cans of corn. What? Why don't we stock up on cans of corned beef hash? They don't take up that much space. We've got extra storage okay. rooms. All right. Hey, hey, don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. I didn't say anything. I, I agree with you, buddy. Listen, I, I get it. And I, I prefer the canned corn. I don't even want fresh corned no, beef No, I like the, I they like always the canned overdo stuff, it. too. They, 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 they nailed it 300 years ago. I they agree. They nailed Cornell nailed what corned beef had, and we could just get that. I My mom sends me that. That's how I feel about stovetop stuffing. I agree completely. I, the stovetop yeah. was good yeah. enough. I'm sorry. I, I know I know this isn't it's, you. It's, I, just, it's a this thing. Is a repeated th- I, I request this all the time. It's something you're passionate about, and I appreciate that. I like to see yeah. you passionate. That's okay. Yeah. That's that's fine. That's fine. I think it was all. She was also kind of mad because you slept with uh, you slept with her sister. She knows about that. Yeah, yeah. So it was kind of a mix of both things. I think. Okay, so I'm just let me I'm gonna float this idea out. Actually, could you float this idea out back? Yep. Maybe this is a bad idea. I'm going to say no right But I now. think this is probably a very good Based idea. Based on your tone alone, I'm going to say that this idea is bad. Hold, wait, hold on. Here, this is, this is, wait, uh, don't just hear me out here and also float it to her. It sounds like there's two things going on. One, we know that women of her family are sexually attracted to me and there's very good chemistry. Two... We know that she's got a lot of anger and frustration, so it would be great if we figured out some kind of catharsis. Three already knows... I know what you're saying, Andrew. I, and I'm going to say what, no. What I'm, what I'm saying, I will not be the person... Try and 
talk just space, to- just space. The final frontier. That's all. Because because we're supposed to explore stuff. We're supposed to explore stuff out here. And interpersonal relationships and like no 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 that's actually what Gene Roddenberry didn't want that's not important and, and she wait, but she <laughs> didn't she's, want interpersonal she's, relationships she's a trill and so is her sister so that's like intercultural exchange of fluids and culture and so you know if all th- I'm just okay I'm, I think this is worth pursuing I think that we should keep I think if you want to talk to her about it you should talk to her about it. I'm not. I'm no longer getting involved in this situation, but I promise you, if you bring that up, it's going to be really bad. You you don't think she's? You think it might make it worse? Absolutely. I don't think might. Huh. I don't think okay. might. I think it definitely will. Okay. Hands down. I'll. Well, no. I'll just. Okay. I'll. Okay. Here's. I see what you're saying. I, I see what you're saying. What? If, okay. What if I approach it like this? I go, Amanda. I know that we've had a we we've had a, a spat, and there's some uncomfortableness here. Rather than getting all emotional, why don't oh we make a, make a list oh of actionable steps we can do to Jeez, fix this situation so we don't have Christ. to deal with the feelings anymore? Let me write. I'm going to make a graph of things we could do, and, and one of them is cathartic sex, possibly with other people. Okay, listen, listen, listen. I, I'm off tomorrow. I don't want to hear anything about this. Okay, I don't want to text about it. I don't want to be involved in any way. I'm over it. I know I'm friends with Amanda and I'm friends with you, but I don't want to be involved in this anymore. And I'm also fr- friends with her sister, Jane. And I don't want to be involved in anything going on from here on out. Is that clear? Yeah. Andrew? Yes. Okay, okay? All right. Listen, I love you, but this is this is a lot. I'm going to go back to my quarters and work on some very tough problems with like space and stuff, right? You know, all that yeah. kind of stuff that we're worried about. Diligent officer. I, we got. We're visiting three plan, three planets this week. Uh-huh. Three planets that we we're, we're not even that sure about. Like we got to figure some shit out. I got to work on like visiting schedules and plans and who's going to go down to the planet. And you know, that's my gimmick. That's what I do. Yeah. I can't have time for thinking about you and your your gallivanting and your 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 your, your mishmashing with people and, and you hating on corned beef hash, but then wanting it in the can and then wanting to be with her sister, but then wanting to be with her maybe, and then it doesn't really work out because you're both mad at each other and it doesn't feel right and it just doesn't work. Okay, I can't handle all of this. I'm sorry, I know I'm freaking out a no, little no. bit, but it's my day off tomorrow and I've just worked three days in a row, so I'm a little bit stressed. It's fine, you Nick. Uh, I I appreciate you calling to let me know about the replicator faux pas. That might possibly lead to sex. I appreciate that. Thank you. And I, you need to go to your quarters and focus on your job and really just uh, bury yourself in the work. I'm going to go back to my quarters and call Jane, see if she wants to play some Mario Kart, maybe have a bottle of wine and invite her sister over just to see what happens, just to see what happens. And that'll be what I do. And uh, we'll, we'll meet up for brunch on Sunday. All right. Well, do, uh, what about racquetball tonight? You don't want you don't want to play okay. racquetball. Uh, well, it mm, it sort of depends on how it, uh, if are are you if Jane does come over, are you okay with me being late? Not by a long time either. Probably like forty minutes. It's just that we have a standing appointment at the racquetball court. You know that, and if it, it's seven thirty, I mean, it's just like that's when we that's when we go every week. I mean, I know I can I can be there on time. I just feel like I'd be shortchanging Jane. Uh, that's I mean, I can I can do it. It's not a problem for me. I mean, I'm I'm here to serve, but uh, I just you know I like uh, yeah you know uh, yes yeah. Nick I, I'm going to see you there. I'll be there at eight o'clock uh, or twenty hundred as we say here on, on the ship. I'll be there twenty hundred and uh, let's just we just let's forget about all this stuff. I'll see you for racquetball here in a couple hours. Goodbye. 